Can you get high off of this stuff? It's Kat and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing and testing out Kanuka's CBD Calming Eye Balm. What is an eye balm? It's supposed to moisturize, hydrate, and protect the delicate under eye skin area. So we're gonna review it, we're gonna test it, and I will give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. So in case you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay, what is this product? Now, according to their website, which incidentally, this product got five stars out of five stars, both on Ulta's website and Kanuka's website. I really hope I'm saying Kanuka, Kanaka, Sanuka. I hope I'm saying it right. But it says this cool to the touch balm gives your eyes a refreshed look, awakening your natural eye beauty. Since it's both powerful and moisture rich, use as a base for makeup or under a tinted concealer. Now that really has me intrigued. I don't know about you, but this winter, my eye area is super dry. What's really cool about this company is that they state they're sustainably sourced and thoughtfully harvested. Our farms have been consistently producing the highest quality of CBD since 2014. So it states here on their website, CBD's powerful calming properties temporarily help to relieve skin while Manuka honey moisturizes. We've added vitamin E, hemp seed oil, rosehip oil, and grapeseed oil containing powerful free fatty acids to replenish and protect the skin from environmental and natural aging factors. Now being 52 years old, I'm always on the lookout for great skincare, and this is really no exception. I hate to admit it, but I kind of do neglect my under eye skin area, and that is the most delicate area on our face. So I was super excited to test this product out. Now it says you can use it twice a day, in the morning to refresh and at night as a reparative sleeping eye balm. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, I know I look crazy, but we are gonna go ahead and jump right in and test this product out. Now the suggested use is to go ahead and gather a small amount of balm onto the finger and let the balm warm momentarily before applying under the eye. You can also apply it around the eye. Now for best results, use in the morning and at night. So let's just open the product up. Now it's a plastic jar. It retails for $38 and you get 0.44 ounces. So if it's a small amount, it should, this is pretty hefty sized, but see that through here, as you can see, it doesn't really smell. But the ingredients are super simple. It contains beeswax, grapeseed oil, shea butter, hemp seed oil, orange peel butter, vitamin E, rosehip oil, coconut oil, distilled water, potassium sorbate, grapefruit extract, and manuka honey, as well as the CBD. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna test this out, the consistency. Gather a small amount of balm onto finger. I mean, what, what help if I got a spatula. So you're supposed to rub it between your fingers and the fatty acids are supposed to replenish and protect the skin from environmental stressors and, oh, it doesn't, it actually smells kind of good. All right, okay, very waxy. Yes, it is a bomb, but I'm gonna go ahead and tap it in. Super waxy. It's supposed to feel refreshing in the morning. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. This is total first impressions, you guys. I can feel it. I can, wow, the sensation is just very smoothing and it doesn't feel waxy anymore. Wow, this feels great. Now, I do have eye makeup on, but underneath I removed all of my concealer and I'm gonna get up close so you can see under my eyes. You can see I do have some dark circles and some fine lines. But this feels very soothing. It does have a scent. It's just a very clean scent. It's not offensive at all. It's so light. And you can also use this at night as a reparative sleeping eye balm. And the curious thing about it, some people were saying that their eyelashes were growing longer because they used this. Can you get high off of this stuff? No, 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 no. And we're gonna put concealer on because they said you can use it as a base, right? Or am I just making shit up? They are also proud to be certified by PETA as cruelty-free products. All of our products are made with natural ingredients and are never tested on animals. Yes. All right, I'm going to use my Concealer Du Jour and it's gonna be the Meet Your Hue by Dose of Colors. And we're just gonna go right in with concealer. 
gonna use a little bit here. This feels so strange, oh my God. Like, okay, I'm gonna tap this in and see if it's really smooths out under my eyes. And we're gonna tap it out. I'm shocked. I'm literally shocked. This feels so soft, so hydrated. And this is just my normal concealer that I'm using, but look how much it's brightened up my eyes. I'm turning off the ring light so you can see there is natural daylight coming through my window, but look how it instantly brightened up my eyes. Oh my God. I honestly have never tested out a product in my life where it has offered instant results. I mean, I'm just sitting here in my office playing around with the CBD calming eye balm. I'm speechless. I'm totally speechless. Should I powder it down? So beautiful. I don't even want to mess with it. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of setting powder, just a touch. I'll do my right eye and just see what kind of results I have with that. This is with the finishing powder and this is without. I'm gonna go about my day. I seriously wish you had touch of vision. Is that such a thing? To see how soft this feels. I'm ready to go buy stock in this stuff because this stuff's amazing. Okay, I'm doing a check-in. Why? I don't know. It is 7.54 p.m. It's been approximately seven hours since I first applied the Kanuka CBD calming eye balm under my eyes to use as a base under my concealer. I'm shocked you guys. It is still feeling so hydrated and so soft and so amazing. Like my concealer has not budged, but we're gonna take it to the next level. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove all of my makeup and then apply it as the soothing eye balm, reparative eye balm at night. And I'll be right back. Final thoughts? This shit's good. Like I've never had a product where it worked on me instantaneously. Like you saw me apply my concealer. You saw how flawless it looked. You saw how smooth it looked. And tonight, just applying it as the last step in my skincare regime, it is refreshing my eyes. I can feel it really seeping into that delicate area under my eyes. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful product. I'm excited to test it out for the next several weeks and give you my total final conclusions in that upcoming video. But for now, super impressed. It retails for $38. You get 0.44 ounces. You just use a teeny amount of this product. I did apply it over my eyes over here and maybe my eyelashes will grow. I don't know, wouldn't that be great? But yeah, leave a comment down below if you've even heard of Kanuka, if I'm even saying that correctly. But so yeah, those are my final thoughts. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Kanuka CBD Calming Eye Balm. It certainly made me calm, I'm ready to go to bed. It's been a super long day. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Remember, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And don't forget to click on my little head in case you haven't subscribed yet. And for more reviews on makeup and skincare, check out these videos up here. So Mahalkita, I love you and I'm going to bed. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.